All right, this is gonna be a bit of a fun one because I'm gonna pull back the curtain here for you guys a little bit, and I also have a lot to say. First, this is the new AeroPress Go Plus. We're gonna be talking about it today. I'm gonna tell you everything good about this AeroPress from my seat, everything maybe a little less than good from my seat, and we're gonna talk about a bit of an elephant in the room as it comes to AeroPress. So first, just so you know, I'm a big AeroPress fan. I've used one since like 2010. It was the first brewer I got after my French press, so very early on into my coffee journey. And I tell people like from my perspective, this is like the ultimate 80-20 brewer. And what I mean when I say that is, you put in a little bit of extra effort with the AeroPress and you get a big change in your result. Like if you're coming from a French press or standard home drip machine or whatever, these presses are gonna give you a big jump in your coffee quality. Also, I partner with AeroPress as a brand. I'm a full-time creator and I don't have another job, so I need to do things to make money. And partnering with brands that I feel like there's an alignment with is one of the ways that I do that. AeroPress hired Sarah and I to make these tutorial videos for their website. We didn't write them, but we did film them. If you go on their website, you can see them. It's in this kitchen. That's me using the AeroPress. And as far as it comes to the Go Plus, this picture on AeroPress's website, that's me. We went and went to this location. If you live in Ontario, Canada, you might even recognize this location and shot a picture of this press. They paid us to do it. Also, we do paid content collaborations with AeroPress on Instagram. We feel like it's a great brand, but I did want to give you that download. If you want to ask me a specific question about that, I'm committed to being always transparent. And as far as it comes to this video, AeroPress didn't ask me to make it. They don't know what I'm going to say. I'm probably gonna say some things that they will like. I am probably gonna say some things that maybe they won't like. And stick around, because I have some fun things to say about the whole history of AeroPress. Okay, so the Go Plus. This is kind of like an all-in-one AeroPress travel package. It is a mug with an AeroPress inside. You pull it out, it's got some stuff here. The press goes on the top and on the bottom, this thing opens up and there's filters inside. It costs 80 bucks as opposed to the $40 original, the $50 clear go and color version. So a little bit more expensive there. And if that's a deal breaker for you, then I have good news because the part that actually makes coffee, it's functionally identical to all of their other presses. So if you're feeling like this one is too expensive, you can just go buy an original for 40 bucks. And as far as a coffee taste experience, you're gonna get exactly the same thing. Now this press, the Go Plus, kind of takes its namesake from this one right here. This is called the AeroPress Go. People call it the small AeroPress because it has this kind of funny, almost square shaped cup. And it's like a short AeroPress that sits just like that. And as far as the overall idea of AeroPress, this one has always been my favorite. Functionally, it was never quite what I wanted. Couple things about it. Because it's small, it will either make a smaller cup of coffee or you can do your usual recipe and then just top it up with water to kind of get to the right strength. It's a little more complicated. Like that's one extra step to make the equivalent cup of coffee that this one will make. Also, it comes with this little filter holder that sits on top of here and then the cap goes over, which is nice idea because it keeps the filters dry. You know, if you're putting your AeroPress away and it's wet, but it's just, I don't know, like I just don't love this. And then the cap is not really functional for any reason besides being a cap. So it is very small, which is nice. Nice. Like if I go camping and I'm backpacking, this is what I take because it's the lightest and the smallest. But for my kind of everyday use, I still wanted that normal sized AeroPress experience. And I don't think I'm alone in this. I really feel like a lot of people wanted a regular size AeroPress Go which is this one. Now, this one does a couple things differently. Obviously, it's the same size as far as a chamber goes compared to the clear or the original, any of the standard presses. That filter base is on the bottom. And when it all goes together, you know, the thing that goes on the top is actually a cap that you can drink out of if you're in, in the car or whatever. It still comes with a stirrer and the same scoop as AeroPress Go, but it's in this more standardized tumbler with the full-size AeroPress. So I really feel like this AeroPress 
is what I wanted from day one. And I'd even go as far to say if I was to buy one AeroPress today, I would probably spend the 80 bucks and get this one. And let me show you why. This is what I travel with or this is what I have traveled with to this point. When I go for like an overnight or, you know, family getaway with the kids, you know, every now and then I take an espresso machine and grinder and I really get a hard time from Sarah about it. But most of the time, this is the thing that I travel with right here. Let me just peek it, give you a peek inside. In here, I have a scale, I have an AeroPress, I have a mug, a couple of different coffees and hand grinder. Usually I keep the filter cap in with the hand grinder just because of the size of all the little things in here. And then I keep uh, the filters in one of these little pouches. So when I'm traveling, this is an extra bag, an extra thing that I got to keep track of because I've got it all full of coffee stuff. Now the Go Plus doesn't totally eliminate that because you know, you're not going to, even if you pack this up, you're not gonna be able to fit like a grinder and coffee. And if you're a type of person that travels with a coffee scale, you can't fit all that in here. But what I will say about this is I'm a lot more comfortable just tossing this in my luggage and not worrying about it as a single unit as far as a press and cup goes. And even if I'm going for an overnight, like you could stick coffee in there or small hand grinder or whatever. It's just enough extra where I feel like I probably don't need to bring a whole extra bag. I really like that. Most of the time, if this was my only AeroPress, I would not use this cup. I would just use a regular mug. But the fact that it comes with this cup and this very convenient way of like packing it up and just tossing it in your bag or whatever, that's worth a little bit extra for me, knowing how much I use and like the AeroPress. Okay, some critiques of the AeroPress. I always try and give critiques. This is no different. And I do have a couple things where I'm like, ah, eh, not sure about that. Number one, this is a coffee geek thing. And I'm fully aware of that. I would love to see a ceramic lined cup on this. I know that's probably more expensive. Stainless is okay, but ceramic lining, that would be a big plus. That would be like, this is over the top for me. A couple other really small things. This kind of pops off, it's a pressure fit. It feels like it could pop off in a bag. That's never happened to me so far. But, and even if it did, I don't think it's really the end of the world. And in here, one of the differences between this one and the regular AeroPress, you know, you see the different size top of the plunger here, so it can actually fit in there. Also, it's got this uh, gasket around here, which is great because if it's a little wet and you pack it up and throw it away, it's not gonna get your bag all wet. So that's really nice. But you have to wonder, is that gonna last forever? I don't know. I've only had it for like a month, so I can't really comment on that. Also, there's a uh, gasket around here. And on that note, visually, it's just not quite as polished looking, in my opinion, as the AeroPress Clear. You have this extra flange up here to keep it tight in the mug. You have these extra little tabs around the cap to kind of keep that lid on. You don't have that on this. It's just a little cleaner. I wish they were able to incorporate more of that clean look for home use into this, but I also see what they're trying to do and I think it is a decent compromise too. One thing that I'm not totally sure about, this is funny. I'm a serial tumbler dropper. You know, I'll drop my tumbler on the concrete all the time. And the base of this is plastic. And if this ever breaks, this is not gonna be the nicest looking tumbler. This plastic, you know, if you squeeze it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap, but it's still plastic. And I have to wonder if I drop it a dozen times on concrete. If I ever break one of these, I'll let you know. I have dropped it a couple times. Don't tell AeroPress this <laughs> because I was shooting, but I have dropped them a couple times and they don't have a mark on them, but it does kind of freak me out a little bit. This idea though, of the filters in this little filter holder in the base of the cup, I don't know who thought of that, but I'm a fan of that idea. And the lid, like it's got this magnet Yeti thing. It's kind of cool. I don't know, most of the time I drink with the lid off, so you tell me what you think of that. Now, one thing I can see coming with this that's kind of a 
bit of an intuitive question as you're thinking about this as a product is, okay, so you make your AeroPress, you press your coffee into this thing, you put this on and take it to go. What do you do with this? At first, that seems like a great question. You very quickly realize that you're probably coming back to wherever you made the coffee, be it a campsite, be it a hotel room, be it in your house. That's not really a negative for me. So if there is something on this that proves to not be the greatest over time, I think AeroPress will probably issue an update. You know, they released their flow control cap. The very first ones, some of them had issues with leaking. So they released this updated one which has a rubber gasket inside and all the flow control caps are now like this one. So if there ever does become some kind of issue with a gasket or like these bottoms are breaking all the time or whatever, I'm pretty confident we'll get updated. There is an elephant in the room though when it comes to AeroPress. And if you're an OG AeroPress fan, you will probably already know what I'm talking about. And that is that AeroPress it's got this really kind of bought in, fired up core fan base. The people that got in with one of these and they've been a fan for many years, part of like the AeroPress community where, you know, people will develop all these recipes and all this stuff. People get really fired up about AeroPresses. And a couple of years ago, something happened. AeroPress got bought out. And when AeroPress was bought out, the new owners started making changes. They increased the price slightly from this. You know, when these first came out, they were like 30 bucks and then they raised the price to 40 bucks. And also they started releasing all these products, which was kind of antithetical to what the original founder of AeroPress wanted. Alan Adler is the inventor of these things. He also invented the Aerobi Frisbees and he was pretty opinionated about how the AeroPress should be made, what he was and wasn't willing to provide AeroPress fans, and how it should be used. And the new owners kind of started undoing a lot of that. And people could kind of sense that that might not be in line with what the original founder may have necessarily done. Here's my perspective on this, and I'm giving you my real answer. For a long time, there were really bought in AeroPress fans who said, I wish AeroPress had X. I wish they would release X. And AeroPress would say, no, we're not doing it. Some great examples are a larger AeroPress, a clear AeroPress, a flow control filter cap, and a larger AeroPress Go. Also custom colors was something that people were interested. You know, you could get custom aftermarket colors so combined with the price thing and then releasing all these extra products, some OG fans really kind of got up in arms about this. But what really doesn't connect for me is AeroPress was really just releasing all the stuff that everybody had been asking for all along. They just did it really quickly. Now, as far as the colors, you know, uh, releasing the pink one for Valentine's Day this year, like, I love this AeroPress, but yeah, that's a marketing stint. If you don't like the colors, you don't like the clear, you don't like the Go Plus, you feel like people are trying to sell you things, just get an AeroPress original. And if you still have an original that you bought 10 years ago that's working fantastic, you don't have to buy another AeroPress because all of these AeroPresses are going to make nearly identical cups of coffee. What sets the Go Plus apart is the package that it's kind of wrapped up in. If you say, hey, I just wanna buy an original, I'll take my own cup, that's fantastic. I really like this setup. It's clean, but I would love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments. If you're an OG fan and this got you fired up, I do wanna hear from you too. I hope your next cup of coffee is fantastic. Let me know what you think of the Go Plus and we'll see you next time.